Okay, so today I went with my fraternity from Exodus 90 to a pilgrimage to St. Joseph Oratory today. And it seems like every single place that we go to, something amazing happens there. And today we heard an amazing announcement, which is St. Joseph Oratory is going to become St. Joseph Shrine on the feast day of St. Joseph, March 19th, around 5 p.m., where the Archbishop will be declaring it the, an Archdiocese Shrine. So, if you want to go and see that, it is at 5 p.m. at St. Joseph's Oratory in Detroit. I'll have the link below to where the information is. This is amazing. <laughs> um, I'll tell you why. I am not a regular churchgoer to St. Joseph. I am. Uh, I was a pilgrim today to St. Joseph. I just happened to hear the news from the pastor there because amazing things happen when I go on pilgrimages with my uh, Exodus 90 fraternity uh, and and it was it was great to hear that that parish St. Joseph is a old right extraordinary form parish uh, that seems to be the only thing they do they do low and high masses they do benediction they do novenas everything they do all of it and it's great um, on top of that the families there, on average, were about my age. So I'm in my early 30s. They all had families. And so I was, it, it looked amazing. And, and, and to see a parish full, full during the high mass with families, with people around my age, to see so many young families there was great to see because that's not something I'm used to uh, with where I live. And uh, it, it was great. And to see the Archbishop, or to hear that the Archbishop is giving this parish an honor as a diocesan, an archdiocesan shrine, is just great to me. Um, I, I will be showing some, um, some uh, videos of, of just going around it because I thought it was beautiful. Um, so they'll probably show up in, you know, any second now, but <laughs> if they're not already on the screen, the, the, um, and you can really see the, the beauty of this place. Um, but it, that, that's not what really holds it together. What holds it together is the parish life, which is so obvious when you walk in, um, people aren't talking before mass. People are praying before mass. They're kneeling or they're sitting and the, it, it just, what you would expect walking into a Catholic Mass, Catholic area, prepping for Catholic Mass, that was there. And being able to relate to them on so many different levels, personally, myself, like, it's great. Um, I'm going to be going there every so often for a pilgrimage. I'm not going to move there. Um, but what the, what it does is it inspires me to help bring that type of vitality to my own parish because right now it seems that the parishes wherever you're at those need to be revitalized and in, at least in the archdiocese of detroit now we have two shrines we have the little flower and we're going to have saint joseph and and it it's, it's a great inspiration to me. He got to talk to the, the pastor a little bit afterwards before he went and um, held a uh, liturgical lesson for his parish, which seemed that most of the people did in fact stay. Um, this was a great day uh, because it showed that in the Archdiocese of Detroit that the extraordinary form with the 1945 missile, at least that's what I saw when that was the missile I had. Um, it was an FSSP missile. Um, that the extraordinary form is not only permissible, but it's given a great honor. A, the parish, a parish that holds it exclusively, is given a great honor to say that this is a great example of a thriving parish spiritually, and that and liturgically and. We're, you know, we're asked, you know, make a pilgrimage there. It, it's great. <laughs> like, you'll see it. You'll, you'll know it. You'll, you'll feel it. Um, and, and, you know, 
it, even for, for me, like it, it's it's more so because uh, Saint Joseph is my patron saint. He's my confirmation saint, and so for me, that was really special um, to know that 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 is happening in in the archdiocese that I'm in, and and uh, that uh, a more traditional understanding and expression of the faith is is being treated in such a in such a way. Um, like it doesn't feel, it didn't feel like a club going in. It didn't feel like people were, you know, they left after mass really fast. I mean, some people, I mean, you're always going to have a place where some people leave, but there was, there was a, a clear community that you could see. And you, I mean, it, it was almost like you could touch it and, and that it was held together with, with Christ. And it was, it just seeing that was great not just in a few people, but most people. And, and it was, I, I don't know how else to say, you know, like that, that is very sought after for people my age with families who take the faith very seriously. Um, because unfortunately it just doesn't seem to, it's not everywhere. And so, um, you know, I, I think this is a great move by the Archbishop, and, and obviously in my fallible opinion, <laughs> but it's it's something where it's it's um, I'm really happy for it, for this happening, and and I wanted to share it because it is something worth sharing. It's obviously not every day a shrine is declared or established in an archdiocese. I mean, we only have one other, uh, a little flower, so. Um, you know, I hope this has been good because I'm trying to like boost this because this is something that should be known if you don't already know it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll be having more videos up soon. Thanks.